Green Heck, building value in air. In this video, we will cover the requirements for properly installing a Green Heck combination fire smoke damper as detailed in our UL555 approved installation instructions. The installation elements covered apply to all Green Heck fire dampers and combination fire smoke dampers, except for those that are specifically designed to be mounted outside the plane of the fire rated barrier. We are using the model FSD311 a combination fire smoke damper for this video. UL standard 555S requires that all smoke and combination fire smoke dampers be supplied with the factory installed actuator to allow for remote operation. Actuators may be mounted either inside or outside of the airstream. All fire and combination fire smoke dampers must be installed in a steel sleeve at least as thick as a connecting duct, but no thinner than 26 gauge. Although field supplied sleeves are allowed, Greenek recommends factory supplied sleeves to minimize installation costs and to ensure that the required damper to sleeve fastening requirements are met. The combination fire smoke damper shown in this video utilizes Greenek's RRL OCI device. The RRL, which stands for Reusable Resettable Link, closes the damper once the predetermined temperature is reached. The OCI device is connected directly to a damper blade to indicate when the damper reaches its fully open and fully closed positions. When you are framing the opening, follow the manufacturer's installation instructions. The figure shown can be used for wood and metal stud construction. Shown is an alternate framing method that can only be utilized for metal stud construction. Prior to installing the fire damper or combination fire smoke damper in a wall or floor opening, it is essential that the opening be square. To ensure that your opening is square, measure the two diagonal dimensions in your opening to verify that they are the same. The traditional two-side retaining angle installation method requires the wall or floor opening to be larger than the damper to allow for damper expansion during a fire. For a galvanized steel damper, the opening must be an eighth inch larger than the outside of the damper sleeve for every foot of damper width and height. The minimum total clearance required is one quarter inch. During installation, position the damper within the plane of the wall. The sleeve can stick out of the wall on the actuator side a maximum of 16 inches and on the non-actuator side a maximum of 6 inches. The manufacturer's installation instructions require that you install the damper and sleeve assembly with retaining angles. The leg of the retaining angle on the damper sleeve must be a minimum of one and a quarter inches and the leg on the wall or floor, a minimum of one inch. Check to ensure the retaining angle fasteners do not interfere with the operation of the damper. Greenhex POC angles have pre-punched holes, one inch on center, making fastening requirements a piece of cake. You must use a minimum of two fasteners when attaching the retaining angles to the damper sleeve. See the manufacturer's installation instructions for more information. In traditional, two-sided angle installations do not secure the retaining angles to the wall or floor. The angles should allow the damper to float in the opening. Once the damper is installed, the sleeve needs to be connected to the adjacent ductwork using one of the approved connection methods listed in the manufacturer's UL approved instructions. On this damper, we are showing Greenheck's Quick Connect. Greenheck can ship loose or factory install breakaway flanges to the damper sleeve to minimize field installation time. Building codes such as IBC require an approved means of access to the damper that is large enough to permit inspection and maintenance. Greenheck can factory install an access door in the damper sleeve to save labor costs in the field. Greenheck will continue to lead the industry in new and innovative damper products and solutions.